Hey guys, welcome to another video. As you can imagine, the theme of this video once again is gonna be the Range Rover behind me because I think this is very interesting vehicle and I can't uh, capture all its features in one video, uh, all the interesting stuff about it. So I decided to just uh, cut it off in uh, separate videos. I don't know if you saw my video vehicle I uploaded that video recently and uh, there was a, a crucial piece of information about this vehicle that I briefly mentioned and I uh, didn't pay much attention to it because the video would have been very very long and I didn't uh, want it to do such a long video so uh, this is the time for me to cover that as well so let's jump right into the video so guys I'm sorry about the wind but it is what it is and I can't do anything about it I'm truly hoping that you're gonna be able to hear me well and uh, you won't be bothered by the wind but uh, yeah I'm determined to make this video so let's start at the moment it is uh, not uh, by coincidence that the Lancia it is behind this Range Rover it is there on purpose because I want to have this vehicle to compare the height of the Range Rover against it so as you can see they are almost the same height now the Range Rover is towering over the Lancia a bit and this is actually in the lowest position of them all because the Range Rover has four settings of their suspension and now we are on the lowest which is to allow the passengers to get in and out uh, without any struggle and then we have the highway mode and standard mode and then we have the off-road mode and this is the lock for their suspension which prevents the um, automatic corrections of the positions there for example when the car reaches 55 miles per hour or 85 kilometers uh, I think it was the, the standard and when she reaches uh, this speed and it keeps this up for at least few minutes the car automatically lowers itself from the standard position to the highway mode and once the the car is under these uh, kilometers for at least few minutes she rises itself again so to prevent the car from doing this it can be locked uh, with this uh, button over here and the same goes to the off-road mode once uh, the car reaches 55 kilometers I think or 35 miles something like that she automatically lowers itself to the standard position so basically this is how the system works and uh, before I forget what else I wanted to mention is that when the car needs to be adjusted that cannot be done when the car is uh, with pressed brake I think uh, the brake has to be released and for the car to be able to reach the lowest position over here she usually has to be with the handbrake on uh, once the handbrake is released she will return into the medium position the standard position of the the height so this mode can be reached only when the car is uh, in complete stop and engaged handbrake i think so guys this is the main module for the air suspension and let's try to open this if i actually remember how yep like this so over here we have the air compressor which is this cylinder thing and the valves that are responsible for the each airbag that this car has and over here is this expansion tank thing of some sort or valve i'm not completely sure these are the pipes that the air goes through and it goes over there you can see the top of the front airbag 
the pneumatic element that is rising and lowering the Range Rover. So basically these can be easily replaced but actually they are not so hard to be repaired as well. There are these cheap kits that come with everything that is needed for this to be repaired. I believe the, the piston of this thing is some kind of plastic, some kind of Teflon or something like that. that uh, I haven't had any issues with this thing and it is still the one that I got the, the Range Rover with but this can be easily determined if uh, there is any problem with it. Usually when the tank for the air is empty and the vehicle is started, she needs to rise to standard position in 8 or 10 minutes tops otherwise there can be any type of uh, air leak or there can be problem with the um, air compressor so once the vehicle is started and the air compressor starts running through these little pipes uh, plastic pipes that you see around it the air gets uh, over to the tank which is uh, I, if I remember correctly it is over here yeah no, this is the fuel tank that can be seen. It is somewhere around here, mounted to the chassis, the side of the chassis, and it is roughly beneath the passenger back door on the right side. So once the, the tank is filled, it comes back to the valves, and from there to the, the, the airbag over here. Now I have one airbag that it is from this vehicle and this is rear airbag you can see how it looks like we had to replace them because you may notice the damage that this thing has and they were leaking a bit of air and the vehicle had uh, issues to um, it reaches its uh, standard position so we replace this so this is the backbone of this suspension it has uh, four of these two and for each side of course and this is rear as i mentioned and the front one has a little top over here and they are a little bit different but the the principle is the same so usually the cars are set up with springs like this one and this is uh, this is keeping the the car in the proper position and this is the the difference between the suspensions so this airbag allows the vehicle to to change its position according to the need of the vehicle and the, the driver independence of the conditions that the road conditions that he has to face so actually this is suitable for this Range Rover often most of the, the people prefer to just uh, replace the air suspension because they believe that there is way too many things that can go wrong with it and they prefer not to count on this and this is the, the type of the springs that, that can be used on this vehicle but let's get back to the um, suspension itself so I'm gonna get measuring tape and try to show you the clearance of each mode on the vehicle so I haven't done this before and it is gonna be interesting for me as well to see how much can this vehicle can be rising so let's get to that okay guys so now when it is in lowest position I'm gonna try to roughly measure it because it's weird to do that one-handed and uh, it is around five centimeters I know it is more like six but actually it is uh, sideways so it isn't uh, vertical measuring tape so let's say it is probably we can tell it is around six centimeters but between five and six so let's uh, leave this up to highway position and check that uh, once again So 
guys, now it is in highway regime and uh, let's see it is roughly 9 centimeters in tight yeah Now it is on standard position. Twelve centimeters around uh, eleven and a half probably. So now the vehicle is in the cast position, so let's measure the clearance once again. It is roughly around 15 centimeters. Thank you. Not bad at all. So guys, this was all. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I have some other videos here on my channel with this Range Rover. Feel free to check them out and I hope to make some uh, more in the future. So thank you for watching, stay safe, you may consider subscribing, sharing, commenting and I hope to see you in my next video. So take care, bye!